happened this week? Just how are you feeling about your team and where you guys are and where you're headed? Well, you know, our, our immediate goals have been to get better. And so I think with every practice, uh, we just had our sixth practice the other day. And after these uh, exhibition games, that's what we look for, uh, getting better at both ends of the court, uh, learning how to play with each other because these guys have never played together before. Uh, and I think we're on the right track in that regard. So uh, that's, that's what I feel good about. Hey, Coach Doug Farnberg, the Associated Press. Uh, two questions. Just talk about the sure. defense tonight and how it seemed that you guys played pretty solid defense and then just Keldon's effort. I mean, two days here and he was a huge, a huge impact tonight. Well, uh, I thought the defense was pretty solid. I, you know, we started out slowly, couldn't make a shot, but uh, they didn't let up defensively. They kept uh, their focus in that regard, which is going to be important uh, as we move on. And Keldon Johnson uh, just played a really solid uh, basketball game. You know, he shot if he was open, he made cuts to the bucket. Uh, when he did go to the bucket, he was, he was uh, very physical and he was solid in the uh, – Half court defense. So he had a very, very good night. Coach Steve Drummond with Redline Editorial. Uh, what do you feel um, turned the tide for you guys in the third quarter? You guys shot, shot a lot better, but was there something else that turned the tide for you there? Uh, our pace was better offensively. I thought we got a little bit of mud, uh, and their physicality kind of set us back on our heels a little bit in the second quarter. Uh, but the pace improved in the third quarter. So we were able to get the ball up the court a little quicker. Uh, shared it better, and thusly uh, ended up with more open shots. Brian Winhurst from ESPN. I know that you're limited in what you can do with this team because of your depth and your practice time and also fatigue of the players. You've talked about that. Does it seem like the guys who didn't go through the playoffs or maybe had a little bit extra rest have a little bit more spring in their legs? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to gauge that, to be honest with you. Uh, I just know that when we started out, uh, we needed conditioning. So uh, we're getting better with each passing day uh, in that regard. But I, I can't tell you, you know, if you played in the playoffs or if you didn't, you know, the three guys that are going to be joining us, you would think that they're going to be in really good shape. Uh, so uh, that's, that's a plus. It's a pretty really ridiculous situation that you have here because You've only got nine guys are traveling with you. You got three guys. You don't know when you're going to get them. I don't know how you're going to game plan, not knowing how you're going to play on Sunday. Uh, you've seen a lot of stuff. I'm not sure you've ever seen a hand like this. I have not. This is a little bit different in all honesty. Uh, but, you know, I really got to credit uh, the young guys that are uh, with us that are not on the Olympic team uh, that have allowed us to have some practices, Other we would, otherwise we'd be in real trouble having lost uh, Bradley and uh, Jeremy having to sit out for those last two or three days. So those guys have saved us so that we could at least uh, field a group that could scrimmage and script things. So uh, they've, they've really saved us. And now moving forward, uh, we still won't have those other three, uh, but at this point, uh, that's not going to change. We just have to persevere and find ways to keep them in shape, uh, even though we're not going to be able to execute too much very well. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out uh, common denominators, you know, for this, this exact group. Uh, less is more, so to speak, is going to work. Inventing the wheel would be the worst thing we can do for this group. Coach, um, you know, uh, Keldon, of course, has been here the whole time, and, and we saw what he was able to contribute tonight. What is um, – what went into uh, picking JaVale to, to come and join you guys? We decided that was the, uh, the most logical and appropriate uh, choice, uh, given the choices we had, uh, that he fit the best. Bob, Chris Mannix with Sports Illustrated. Um, you mentioned the three guys that are coming will be in shape. They'll also be coming off grueling, you know, playoff series. And you've, yeah. 
you've experienced that. You know what players feel like after that's over. What kind of expectations are you having for how they're going to feel physically coming into this? I have no idea. And I'm not trying to be glib. I'm just being totally transparent. We've talked about, you know, are they going to have jet lag? Is it going to be like two days later after they land and they'll be okay the day before? They get her the day before the game. Uh, so maybe it'll hit them two days later and they'll be okay for the game. Uh, maybe we should play them a little bit in the first half and see what they're like. Uh, something, some, uh, some, in some ways, it might depend on if everybody else is healthy. <laughs> if they're not, then they got to play. So uh, we've gone over lots of scenarios, uh, but we haven't figured it out yet. That's for sure. Coach Guillermo Garcia from Spain. How did you see the Spanish team? How did you see uh, Pau Gasol after two years without playing? Thank you. Well, just, just in general, uh, you know, Coach Scoriolo is, is a good friend. And uh, I, I just have to say, you know, he, he has got them executing as well as they ever have, even though a couple guys are a little bit older. Uh, they really understand how to play basketball. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful game when you watch them play. And I'm not just trying to uh, make him or their team happy, but uh, they deserve so much credit for the way they read situations and the answers they have for what you might do defensively. On offense, they're totally unselfish. Uh, you know, the post-up guys do a great job. Uh, you know, of course, you know, Pau is not the Pau of old, uh, but he's still a competitor uh, and he still has great hands and he's still a great passer. And so he gets big under the, under the net on the block and he's a load because he has all those skills. So uh, I'm sure that they're happy he's still playing. Two summers ago, um, USA Basketball was able to have more people involved like on the, the broader staff. And for instance, like Jeff Van Gundy ran your scout, things like that. With the smaller staff, I'm wondering how you're breaking that up. And then I was also wondering if you had already begun to look at and prepare for France. Uh, we've been preparing for France for two years. Uh, we don't just start to prepare for them the day before. Uh, I think about it every day. So uh, that goes without saying. Uh, as far as the staff is concerned, uh, we, don't, we don't really have any less staff than we've ever had. Jeff still scouts for us. He still, I talk to him frequently. And Mark Few, Mark Few was here. PJ Carlissimo was here. Um, Spo obviously was here. Uh, Jamal Mosley was here. So uh, everybody's, you know, Spo was new because he did the select team, but we still have all those people here. I don't know what you mean by smaller staff. We've got uh, two questions from the Zoom room, and then we'll let Pop go. First, go ahead, Tim Reynolds. Thank you. Pop, how valuable can it be or how valuable would you expect it could be that you know to do what you want to do over there, you're going to face adversity. Somewhere along the way in Tokyo, there's going to be adverse moments for this team. The fact that this team has already gone through some adversity here in Vegas, how much can that, the, the fact that you guys have been through some already, how much can that help you? Uh, I think it's huge. You know, I think all of us are, are better for the adversity we go through. Uh, because you either handle it or you don't, uh, you figure it out. And these guys have had to do that. Uh, they've kept their heads up. Uh, there might be a disappointment here or there uh, or an event that takes place, uh, but they move on. And that's what, you know, in a, in a sense, that's, that's what life's all about. So this is no different. Thank you. TV. Hey, Coach from Puerto Rico. What Hi. do you think of the team improvement from day one to today? Uh, everything. We were in better condition. Uh, we understand how we want to play, what we have to do uh, for this group of people 
uh, what we have to do offensively and defensively. Uh, so they've, they've come a long way in a short period of time. And that's what's inspiring and uh, keeps me uh, very ex excited about the, the whole group that they still have a, a long way to go. Uh, and we've got another uh, week before we play. So although that's not a, a long time, thinking about having about four practices uh, to add to the five or six we've had, uh, I think is wonderful uh, because we need that time. So hopefully we'll continue to improve during the week and uh, be ready to play a, a very good French team.